Hey y'all, this is Grace Amber. It's a beautiful Wednesday afternoon here in New Bern, North Carolina. It's hump day. We got two more days until it's the weekend. Today I'm coming back with another podcast episode. Today's topic is who do you trust? Who do you trust? Again, I ask of you, who do you trust? When I asked that, you probably thought about friends, family, a homegirl, a buddy, something like that. Proverbs 17, 17 says a friend loveth at all times and a brother is born for adversity. Trust can be a double-edged sword because it feels so good to be able to trust somebody. It feels so good to believe that you can actually trust people. Just the mere belief that you can trust someone makes you feel so good. It feels so good to trust and yet it feels so bad to trust and be disappointed. The same thing that made you feel so good can make you feel so bad. It cuts deep when you put your trust in someone, people, or even things, and then you find out that they or it wasn't so trustworthy after all. When you think you can trust somebody you live with, and they're telling all your business here, there, and everywhere. Or when you think you can trust your significant other, trust them in your home, and they turn around and set traps for you in the very place that you lay your head. Or when you think you can trust your boyfriend with your car, and he's out riding somebody else in your car. Or when you think you can trust your mom to have your back, and she's the very one that hurts you the most. When you go to church and you think you can trust the people at church and some of them talking about you worse than the people in the streets. When you think you and your coworkers are such good buddies and then you find out that they are the reason why you got fired in the first place. Or when you find somebody that you truly and safely can trust and then they turn around and they die on you. You see, trust is like many of the things in our life. It can make you feel oh so good and then come back and hurt you oh so bad. Some of us have put our trust in so many different things and people and been let down time and time again. If you can't trust your friends, if you can't trust your mama, your uncle, your brothers, your cousins, then who can you trust? And then people will look at you and make you feel bad, talk about you and tell people that you have trust issues. Well, I came to tell you that if you live long enough, you too will have some level of trust issues. If you don't think that you have any trust issues, as Bishop Dale Bronner would say, just wait for the fire. So this leads me to the next question, who can you trust? I'm here to tell you, you can't trust in nobody or nothing but the Lord. You can't safely trust in your bestie. That's your best friend today, but that'll be your enemy tomorrow. They got your back while they're broke and down in the dumps, but wait until they get that stimulus check. Wait until they don't need you anymore. Wait until they get in that interrogation room. You'll find out that your friend was actually a foe. You can't depend on that job. Wait until you have a mix up on that job. Wait until they switch over to self checkout and you'll find out you really didn't have much after all. You can't depend on your business. Wait until a crisis like this pandemic hits and all the sales start slowing up. You can't depend on that man. Wait until you tell him no once or twice. Wait until he gets a little drink in his cup. You'll find out that you're better off right by yourself. You can't depend on that woman. Wait until her tax refunds hit and you come home and your key no longer works. You can't depend on your hustle. Wait until you see those blue lights coming. You'll find out a thing or two about hustling the wrong work. David said in Psalms 41 verses five through nine, he says, my enemies say of me in malice, when will he die and his name perish? Whenever one comes to see me, he speaks falsely while his heart gathers slander. Then he goes out and spreads it abroad. All my enemies whisper together against me. They imagine the worst for me, saying a vile disease has beset him. He will never get up from the place where he lies. Even my close friend whom I trusted, he who shared my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. Proverbs 11:28 says, whoever trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will thrive like a green leaf. Isaiah 42, 17 says, but those who trust in idols, who say to images, you are our gods, will be turned back in utter shame. Jeremiah 9 says, beware of your friends and do not trust in your brother. And Proverbs 28, 26 says, he who trusts in himself is a fool. So if you can't safely trust in your enemies or your friends, your riches or your idols, and you can't even trust in yourself, again, I ask of you, who can you trust? The Bible has made it pretty clear over and over and over again that you can't safely trust in anything or anybody but God. Psalms 118, 8-9 says, It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Psalm 62, 8 says, Trust in him at all times. O people, pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. 
Psalms 34, 22 says the Lord redeemeth the soul of his servant and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Well, I came to tell you today, you better get to know Jesus for yourself. I don't know about y'all, but on Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly leaning in Jesus name. Ain't it good to know Jesus? Ain't it good to know the Lord? The song says, tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus saith the Lord. The old hymn said, what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit, oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. You know, we got so nowadays, we want to get away from the traditional hymns. We don't want to hear the old songs no more. We don't want old folks... We don't want to hear what the old folks had to say. Well, the old folks knew more than we'll ever know. They lived long enough to know better. There is a name that I know, a name above all names. There is a man that I know, and you can trust in him. If you put your trust in stock in anything but him, you're standing on shaky ground. I need something I can depend on. I don't know about y'all, but I need somebody that I can trust. I don't know about y'all, but I need a very present help in my time of trouble, a very present help in my time of need. I don't know about y'all, but I need thee every hour. I came to tell you to put your trust in the Lord. He won't let you down. He'll never leave you, nor will he forsake you. He won't switch up on you. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You can lean on him. You can depend on him. Come taste and see, oh, taste and see, that the Lord is good. And those who trust in him will never be ashamed. Remember, with God in the right mindset, all things are possible. If you have enjoyed this podcast, please share, please share, please share. There is someone out there connected to you that needs to hear this. For more inspiration, follow me on Stripe Life at Founder 2021. On Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, my handle is I am Grace Amber. I love y'all. Until next time, peace.